Hey guys, welcome. Uh, I'm Walter, the personal trainer at HK. I'm a coach in Hong Kong and I'm so excited today because I have all these beautiful people with me, expert in the industry of fitness. I'm very glad to have them with me today for this pod coach, as we call it, a pod <laughs> coach. It's very amazing. So uh, to be brief, I introduce myself real quick. What I do is I'm a certified personal trainer. I hold four certification, the CPT, and the group fitness instructor, the senior fitness specialist, and I'm also working on the last one, which is woman fitness specialist. But when it comes to my workout and what I do, I specialize in HIIT workout because I love it so much and weight training, all right? So when it comes to toning your body, um, make you feel stronger, um, uh, I, love, I love this idea and I love this niche in the fitness. But anyway, enough said about me, I got beautiful people today to introduce. And we have uh, next to me Jerome De Clarence, and we have John Keane today with us to share so much about what fitness is, the mindset, self-awareness, and uh, managing expectations. So guys, introduce yourself. Yeah, I'll start off. So my name is John, I'm Irish. I've been in Hong Kong now for seven years. I'm a mindset coach, and my coaching company is called Systems Coaching Academy. So I'm a certified PCC uh, coach with the International Coaching Federation. I've also got an NLP certification, which is Neuro Linguistic Programming. I've also done some personal training. But a big part of what I do is really trying to approach things from the holistic perspective. So coming at it, first of all, from mindset. So once we get their mindset right, we can start to work on other things then around their health. Can I hire you? Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> Make sure, you, make sure to charge him, mm -hmm. like a lot of money, a lot of money. So. My name is Jerome, I'm a life and performance coach. I am transforming people with strong tools to, have a, to make a positive impact around me. In my program, we talk about uh, your profiling, your values, your mindset, your goals and vision. Um, I'm super happy to, to be here. I've been in Hong Kong for around 11 years. I'm a former football player. And now since uh, four years now, I'm doing this uh, coaching program. Mm. Um, I am so happy to, to be with you guys. Yeah. Today, yeah. Um, mm. Because uh, sharing our passion with others, I think it's one of the values that we, we mm. all have in common. Mm. And uh, just a fantastic opportunity yeah, to get together and to, and to see how can we have a more positive impact. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Before we start all this madness, first of all, how was the transition mm. from 2023 to 2024 because we all know as a coach we have like a different uh you know different view on things because this is where people get all this expectation you know new you new me and stuff like this so how are you guys how we how we manage this as coach like how do we do that how we handle the new year yeah it's a great question uh for me it's always trying to sometimes get away from the idea of maybe a new year's resolution right because you know we have this subconscious belief that you know, first of January holds some special power in yeah, terms of man. changing who we are when, you know, in reality, we can change at any moment. And I think it's, it's always something I try to touch on with my clients. You know, they don't have to wait till January 1st or the start of a new month or the yeah, start yeah, yeah, of a no, week man, to start to do what they want to do. So uh, for me, it's always, you know, building on what I've done last year, but always trying to make some tweaks then heading into the new year and more so planning for the year ahead in terms of you know, right, right, right. to evolve into then. Yeah, I think for me, it's planning for, for me, it's super, super important um, because the more, we, the, the more we know where we, what we want to do, who we, who we do, who do we want to be, uh, the more it, it, we achieve that. Right. right. Um, f f for me, for me, I would say uh, 2023 20, have been a very challenging year because I went through a couple of uh, um, different uh, different challenge in my in my career yeah uh, as a as a, as a coach uh, transitioning from uh, from uh, jerome de clarence and to be a brand like called butterfly coaching right i would say to uh, to um to get confident on what i can do as a, as a coach and also how can i uh, yeah how can i spread the, the positive message uh, message around me? across yes 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 how about you Walter? yeah me is more like uh, i'm not a big of a planner but what it what it when it comes to like you know the the new year i just keep going for me it's just a day mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so after the 31st of december january 1st well no difference you know mm -hmm. it could be the, okay. the 13th 
the 14th of March is the same. You know, I just mm -hmm. keep going. I just have a larger picture, mm -hmm. right? I don't want to set time on, on me or on my body saying that, oh, I need to achieve this. I'm achieving this already. Mm -hmm. So might as well keep going. I think I have this in, 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 in mind. Mm -hmm. I try to translate it to my client, obviously, but it's hard. Mm -hmm. Like you say, you know, society, all this, first of January is like this. Mm -hmm. First day of everything, right? It's like you were just born today. And, in the, you know, you just move forward from, you know, it's like a day one mm -hmm. kind of thing. You know, I don't yeah. really like that. that what, thing. What, was, uh, what was the thing you have been the most proud of last year, for instance? Oh, my God, it's a good question. Um, a lot of good things happened last year. And, you know, I can't complain, mm. especially in the industry that I am. Uh, I think I, w I, w I will not say one moment. I feel like I was able to kind of like print Know, put a print, you know, in the business. I was able to like kind of step mm. on the business. I think, and it yeah. wasn't just one day. It was like over yeah. the, the weeks and days. Mm. So the thing I'm proud of this year is the whole year. Uh, what it was, mm. the challenges that I, the challenges that I had, the, the things that I had to do. So I'm finishing the year saying like, well, it was a great year. It wasn't just a great moment. It was just like nice the whole of it was was good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. That's what it was for me. Cool, nice one. Thanks for sharing. Yeah, of course, man. Of course, of course. How about you, John? I think one of the the big things for me last year was hitting a business goal that I had set at cool. the beginning of the year. So, you know, I, it was my second year doing coaching, but it was my first kind of full year where the previous years I've been doing it part time. So I felt like I had developed a lot over the space of 12 months. And, and like Walter said, it's no, it's not just one. The end result was nice, but it was the, you know, the cultivation of that over time yeah yeah yeah, yeah. that it, it, it happened really and you know stick into the process but that was the big one for me i think was was around business last year cool yeah that's what it was i think i think uh yeah that's what it is. i think for me it was just like a full year right oh, yeah. of yeah all, all, all in. you know all in kind of thing yeah. you know and mm -hmm. i've so much in this i mean you guys know mm -hmm. yeah i mean we all know how much work we put in and it's mm -hmm. something like people tend to forget you know um, they also believe that being a coach is just one hour of your day. But the truth is, it's all the time. Like we think about our client all mm -hmm. the time, how to prepare them, how to make sure they're okay uh, mentally and physically. You know, we go home with mm. all their, almost their problems, right? And, and so it's tough. It's more than just one hour or two hours. It's, mm -hmm. You know, it's just way more than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you do to, to kind of protect yourself? Based on from the them, uh, yeah, from the energy. Man, it's tough. And the funny <laughs> thing is, I only have women clients. Yeah. You know, women are very in touch with the emotion. Mm -hmm. Thank God they are actually. And um, so they, they, they do share a lot. Uh, you know, all their lives and their problems. You know, they're going through. So I get to be the guy to listen. I mean, you guys know. Yeah. But um, it's tough to separate yourself because I find myself at home talking to my partner about, you know, like what the client said. Mm -hmm you know, and see if she has a different opinion or maybe I miss the approach, right, let's mm -hmm. say. Because even though my job is to get them physically at a certain level, mm -hmm. I cannot just, you know, put, up, put aside their mental state mm -hmm. because that will, it's almost like it's based to this, right? Mm -hmm. If they're not good mentally, yeah. no matter how many repetition I give to them, I mean, like, it's, it's a waste of time. Like, mm -hmm. We will never get there, yeah, you yeah. know, especially for the weight loss uh, client. We're going to move on to weight loss later on. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, that would be me. If, uh, that would be that for me. But what about you guys? What, when it comes to, are you able to separate yourself from, you know, your personal life mm -hmm. and the life of the clients? Um, I would say, I would say, for me, it would be to stick as much as possible to uh, to my values, which are simplicity, sharing, and trust. Right. And then, mm -hmm. of course, confidentiality. I was thinking. I, I wanted to share that. Um, it, it, it's same as you. It's a bit hard. To, yeah. uh, to uh to uh um, how can i say to to not emphasize the uh, mm -hmm. energy of uh, right right of yeah effect, because right? i mean um i i think that uh, at each time when i come back home one of the first thing i do is i'm taking shower <laughs> yeah. yeah so i like, no, just get home like <laughs> <laughs> but it's for and and i'm changing clothes and then right. uh, pajamas or whatever but just, <laughs> just, just just to say okay now my 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 uh, work 
is done mm. the emotions that i'm mm -hmm. kind of washing myself so you feel all my, after like you, you you really feel off work when you put your pj on yeah, and you're like done like sport clothes or whatever uh, okay right? yeah i get that, the feeling that things so. that help me a lot to like to 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 be separate from the energy of a uh, right of my client right uh and uh, and or obviously uh sometimes it's sport, of course most of the day sports as well that help help me right a lot how about mm. you john uh for me it's always been probably one of the challenges is switching off like you said yeah whether it's from the clients or yeah. just from being a business owner and having that mindset you know uh, i do a lot of morning stuff uh, around with my clients but i also do a lot of evening stuff so i often find it difficult to have a period where I unwind and get away from, mm -hmm. you know, being a business yeah. owner and, and just try to enjoy life and the normal day to day stuff. So sport, of course, has always helped me uh, play football. So it always helps me switch off. But obviously exercise is one of the big things as well that helps me yeah. tune out of um, the work life sometimes. And journaling. Journaling is something oh, wow. I use uh, daily and has really helped me, you know, regulate my own emotions, do it different challenges that I experience, but also try to detach from, you know, conversations that I might have had or whether it be with a client or something yeah. that I'm dealing with in business. So yeah, try to stay more neutral. It's funny how we all have like a different mm. approach to yeah, this. Very, yeah. very, very cool because, the, the, I mean, the idea is to just disconnect completely, mm -hmm. right? But we, we are human beings. Right? I mean, mm -hmm. how can you, especially when you expose, you know, some of them suffer, some of them suffer from trauma, um, they have so much to share, you know, and sometimes we are the, mm. you know, the person you just go to because they won't be judged, right? So it's mm. easy access. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Of course. I think as a, as a, whether you are a PT mindset coach, but life, life coach, what's something so important is that like, yeah, we are not, we don't judge. We don't, we, we well, yeah, don't no. have any point of view, mm -hmm. things, right? It's yeah. It's so important. I think mm -hmm. for me, it's like, no, very, very, I mean, to have, to, to be able to yeah to create a safe safe and sp uh, safe space mm -hmm. with, our, with our client is so important all oh, right it's everything right? i Confiden think confidentiality is everything oh yeah, yeah no no I'm, I'm just very big on that too yeah but anyway yeah. before we keep going to the weight loss because uh, i love this weight loss topic. <laughs> i love it because it's so famous like yeah. you know it, yeah. anybody that started a fitness journey talk about the main reason out of 90 yeah. percent is about weight loss mm. just want to give a shout out to your sponsor today that decided to support us. Uh, we got uh, H Biltong, which is fantastic. Uh, they produce probably the best meat in the world, if you ask me. And uh, Eve Bliss, which is a, a recovery drink. And once again, showing a lot of support. So big shout out to Hemi Stain, who started this beautiful journey. And I, you know, I, I love them because they're showing a lot of support. I mean, oh, nice. you know, they, so thanks to them. I got a couple of goodies for you after we're gonna Good. drink. Oh, cool! Thank you. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna drink and eat. Uh, it's non-alcoholic, though, <laughs> so nobody will get drunk because there's no like it's too early anyway. <laughs> anyway yeah, yeah. It's only twelve forty-three. So, but uh, yeah, good stuff from them. So, but I would like to talk about um, to close this little thing about the sponsor, weight loss, and I will start by saying that uh, it's the the most popular thing. Mm -hmm. You know, in fitness, I remember yeah. starting um, the PT business and I think the, f the first client I had was like, I want to lose weight. And then the second one, I want to lose weight. And the third one, I want to lose weight. So I got super curious about it. Um, and I said, you know what, I need, I need to learn what is it and how to do it. Mm. You know, so before I give my opinion about this, I would like to hear you guys, what you guys think about when it comes to weight loss. Like, how do you, how do you, you know? Mm. I think uh, something Jerome touched on earlier around simplicity, I think, right. can be a, an important topic. Sure. Uh, it's always helped me on my journey. I know sometimes that the more we complicate it, when we try to have so many moving parts, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, really yeah. strict this, strict that, need to do X amount of things each day, uh, it can be a bit overwhelming and it's hard for people to sustain in terms yeah, of, yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. not just doing it for a month and getting results, but actually you know, coming back two or three years later and seeing that they're still making progress or they've maintained their weight loss. I think that's always uh, an important part of it, you know, that it can be maybe easier to lose some of the initial weight because you have that motivation, you have that drive, yeah, uh, yeah, something yeah. new. Um, it's fun, but it's when they maybe get a setback, how they react to it, right? Uh, I think, you know, simplifying and, and also looking at themselves and of course, getting the right support is a big one, like having a personal trainer. 
Absolutely, I have goosebumps when you talk about it because because we all have different knowledge, which is mm -hmm. 100% like you can combine them. No, absolutely, right. absolutely. absolutely. I want to hear more. Mm. <laughs> no, 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 <laughs> not at all. You. No, it's, uh, it, it's, <laughs> it's very true. I think, it, you know, it's something that I once learned on my own journey is, you know, they don't, it, in terms of like the plan they follow or what it is they do, none of it really matters that much. It's choosing one and sticking to it, right? It's right, no, absolutely, absolutely. It's absolutely, not absolutely. hopping and chopping and changing because it doesn't work for a week, you know, giving it No, time. no, no. I mean, it's um, in the physical part of it mm. because this is what I do. Mm. I'm very confronted to, you know, coach, I need you to change me, yeah. right? But physically yeah. change me, right? So, and when it comes to weight loss, it's a tough thing because first of all, everybody's different, but people really don't understand what weight loss means. It, you know, yeah. it's, yes, most of the people will think that, okay, eat less and move more, right? That's, that would be the, the definition of everybody. Mm. So they will come to me and say, I will restrict my diet, you know, to a point where it has to be as low as, as mm. possible. And then they will try to work out more thinking like if they eat less and they work out more, they will lose this is actually totally wrong, right? Um, you can't just tell your body out of nowhere, right? Let's eat less and work out more. It, 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 it just cannot happen, right? Because mm -hmm. your body's not used to this first thing first. And second, you need to survive, right? You know, we, like you just need to survive. So if you have a thousand and five hundred, there's something called in fitness, and I'm very big on that. It's called a, a resting metabolic rate, right? So Basically, what it is, is, is uh, the energy you need to function in life, like to actually survive, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And that represents 70%, maybe more, of your actually calorie burn, right? That's the energy you need to survive, you know, to keep your, you know, to pump, to pump the blood through your body, um, to bring ox oxygen in and out with your lungs, uh, to keep your brain, brain to function, your stomach, all of these things is from the resting metabolic rate, right? Yeah, yeah. And that is the thing that burns the most fat in your body. Right, so that's the minimum energy you need to function, right? And for that, energy means calorie. So it means that you need to eat a certain amount of food to keep this thing functioning, right? Mm. Okay. So, okay. most of the people, so let's say you will need 1,500 to survive, mm. right? This is like your minimum, you know, resting metabolic rate, right? Do I? I hope so. No, I think you're small, but it's an example. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, I'm chasing you. <laughs> so you need like 1,005, okay? Mm -hmm. And if you put your body to 1,002, let's say 1,200, okay, your body will reset to that, right? It will reset to this, yeah. but the problem is, you know, your metabolism gets slower, so you have less energy, right? Mm -hmm. You're starting to stress, yeah. and then when you start eating, you, you're binging, you're not even eating anymore. Yeah. So actually, instead of, so you're putting your body so let's say if at 1,500, you didn't lose weight, mm -hmm. you're not going to lose weight if you get yourself to 1,002. So people will think like, oh, maybe it's not enough. So I need to cut my, my, you know, my calorie again. So they go to 1,000. It's the same cycle. You're not losing anything, actually. You understand what I'm saying? Actually, it's, it's, it's because since three years, I stopped football. Mm -hmm. And then I started running. I started running, like, right? Right. But I've been eating like crazy since three years, like healthy food and stuff. Right. And I'm losing weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking it's crazy. I've lost uh, 10 kilo. It's, it's no, I'm saying, no, but I, <laughs> you're not, but, yeah, this, is, this is exactly what you. What so, you're a different said. man completely. Sorry? You're a different person back then. Uh, yeah, you, 10 kilo is huge, man. It's huge. Mm. Yeah, but anyway. But anyway, yeah. so what I was saying is that and they get into this cycle where they just reduce their, you know, their diet, but they're not losing any weight because yeah. once the body adapts, right, the calorie is being used just to keep you alive, basically. So, what you need to do is when it comes to you know, to, to losing weight, you need to eat. You need to keep eating, but quality food, right? You don't, obviously, if you overeat, you're gonna get fat, right? You don't have to eat less, you have to eat good. Yeah. You need to feed your body with proteins and stuff that's gonna keep your life first thing first. But more importantly, feed the muscle that you're gonna work out with. Remember that when you work out, you're burning a lot of calories, right? The muscles are getting stronger. Yeah. The bigger they get, the stronger they get, the more calories they need to function. But the good thing is that the more calorie they take, first of all, you're losing fat. But if you're able to feed your muscle, then you perform better, right? So you're able to sustain a certain rate of, you know, 
of intensity in, in your workout mm. that actually make you burn fat. I'm tired of, you know, listening to those people that say, yeah, I'm working out, now I'm going five times at the five time, you know, at the gym, but I'm also on diet. And it's like, but why are you on diet? Right? Unless you're in, in a weight loss journey, you have nothing to do with diet. If your goal is just to get stronger, then get stronger. Now, if you're on a weight loss journey, yes, mm. eat better, mm. right? So mm. cut off the, the sodas and stuff like this, you know what I'm saying? Low carbs, Absolutely. okay, whatever you want. But just make sure that you have sufficient food in your body, you know? Mm. You cannot be, you know, starving. Like, it's not okay. Feed yourself with good, you know, good food mm. and go to the gym and perform, right? Mm. So, and, um, and something I, I, you know, I get a lot and I really want to talk about this is the famous, you know, so what is the best, the heat workout or the steady state, you know, cardio, okay. right? So which, okay. which one is the best uh, when it comes to that? And to be honest, they both, uh, they're both great, you know, in the, in the weight loss. Yeah. Uh, sorry, you want to say something? No, 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 no. absolutely not. I wanted to, to no. talk about that with whether it could be a psychologist mm. or mindset coach or life coach. It's, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's great, you mm -hmm. know, anyway. Yeah, the, the weight loss, the, the weight loss result is, you know, is the same. I mean, mm -hmm. whether you go steady state yeah. or hit workout in, in terms of weight loss, it's the same. Result will be the yeah. same. Mm -hmm. A 20 minute session equal mm -hmm. an hour of running, you will mm -hmm. lose the, the exact, you know, okay, okay, exact, okay. you know, calorie. And even the epoch, which is the post exercise oxygen consumption, right? It means that after the workout, the energy that is required to recover. Because it takes energy to recover, right? It yeah. takes calories, yeah. you know what I mean? Because for me, calories is energy, right? So it takes calories to recover. And when, when you perform heat workouts, when you do like, a, let's say you run for an hour, you reach a certain, you know, mm. level of, you know what I'm saying? Like of yeah. intensity that your body needs to come down. And that recovery takes, uh, you know, takes energy. So the higher you, the higher you go, okay, okay, okay. you know. Mm -hmm. okay. It's going yeah. to take more time to, to mm -hmm. recover, if you know what I'm saying. So, yeah. and that is also a big plus in the, the, the weight loss. This is why the resting metabolic rate mm. is the most important thing yeah. is because the workout only represents 15% maybe, mm -hmm. you, you know, way. of your thing, right? Yeah. And the resting metabolic rate mm -hmm. is about 70%, even more. Wow. So you actually lose weight, not in the exercise, but right after, mm. right? In your daily living, like how your body yeah, yeah. function, I consume, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the energy he has. So this is, you know what I mean? So right, right. It's, it's, it's impressive. So it's not just yeah. working out and boom, yeah, you're going to lose weight, whole, it's a whole, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Work, a fitness that is, or a heat session, or whatever, it's just a supplement. And it's just mm -hmm. like a tool that you had in, you know, the weight loss thing, right? It will mm -hmm. take a good diet. Mm -hmm. It will take a good workout. You also take a daily, you know, a pretty active daily activity, you know, life, like a pretty active life, you know, yeah. going down the stairs, uh, being mm -hmm. active through the day, like yeah. that, that, yeah. those are, the, that, think, that is the main thing that people should focus on, not mm -hmm. the, the, the workout itself, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some people work yeah. all day at the office and because yeah. they're doing a session yeah. of heat mm -hmm. at night, they're thinking like the only way to lose is, is no. Yeah. Right. That just represents 15%. And yeah. The resting metabolic rate is what people should focus on is because is how your body use energy throughout the day. It's very important that people stay active, move along and stuff. And then the, the, the workout is just a supplement. Okay. It's you add on on a workout. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah sure, sure, sure. Then it leads us to the mindset then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah, that goes yeah. To straight to, I guess my question is, is more like, first of all, how do you start? Because, you know, <laughs> Yeah. And how do you, and how do you keep going? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna ask John because yeah. I know no. when it comes to days, it's great. Uh, it's a great question and great to share. You know, I was interested in myself yeah. in that conversation. Obviously, I've uh, exercised a fair amount over the last 10, 12 years, and lifting weights has obviously been something that I've always enjoyed. And, yeah. Uh, but I always felt I was able to maintain a, you know, I had a pretty good handle on nutrition and everything. But over the last year, maybe not as much. I think the diet side of thing has 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 moved into the side i'm still working out as much but as um jerome shared you know it's only a part of the puzzle you know i might yeah. work out seven eight times a week between sport and and the gym but yet not getting maybe the results that i've had in the past and a large part of that would be down to what's going on outside of the workout 
the workouts are pretty much the same as they always were, but uh, lifestyle lifestyle decisions and things like that, you know, haven't been as uh, as much of a priority maybe as it has been in the past. And I've noticed that myself uh, trying to maintain that. But in terms of why the, you know, the mindset and obviously I think when it comes to diet or exercise, you know, we tend to self-sabotage in a lot of ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wants the hack, unfortunately. People want the hack, they want to do the one thing or this is going to lead to, you know, the the weight loss or, but again, I always go back to, you know, sustainable, right? Uh, Like, you know, show me the results two years from now and see, are you still on that same path? Right. If not, then it wasn't sustainable, right? And, you know, we go back to New Year's resolutions. It's like 92% of people who set New Year's resolutions never achieve it. It's a study by, I think it was, ooh, I couldn't say landmark, but I'm not too sure, but it was a 25 year study anyway. So it's a high amount and most have actually fallen off within between 18 to 21 days. So. Uh, oh my it's, God! It's okay. quite a large proportion. Yeah. Then it means that if you manage to do your daily, your new routine between eighteen to twenty-one days, I mm. mean, you can you can keep it, right? Yeah. Well, it makes it. It's it's certainly you know. I think there's a book called Tiny Habits, and you know, it really relates to the idea of making the small incremental changes, right? Uh, you know, maybe not trying to change everything at once because it right. can be overwhelming. Uh, you know, maybe they they start working out with. Jerome and or not Jerome. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I, think I, I, do, I, do, I do. I do look like you. <laughs> I think I've said that a few times. Though. I'm like, just Jesus. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, but uh, like it's it. You know, they overwhelm themselves into change, and yeah, you know, yeah, said so yeah. maybe they can maintain it for one or two weeks because they've got that initial motivation. Right. What happens then is, uh, you know, in terms of the uh, neurology and stuff, you know, after a period of time, the the brain can start to sense, you know, it starts to lose that motivation a little bit, and it's easy for us then to hop onto something new, right? And something yeah, yeah, new yeah, and shiny. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm done with I'm this weight loss yeah, thing. Yeah. It's not working for me. Or you know, not a class. Too or, tired. Or, it's yeah. like, yeah, I'm not enjoying it, you know. And they move on to something else. So, you know, again, that that sustainable approach, but uh, knowing that things take time, right? Everything takes time. I mean, it's going to take yeah, it's, yeah. three months, whatever, for you to get results. And you know, if you work out consistently you know, a couple of days a week, whatever, and you maintain a decent diet and you move during the day for six months or so, you're, you're probably you're going probably... to get results, right? Same in business, you know, you take consistent action every day or, you know, do your tasks every week for a period of time. It, most likely things are going to work out for you until we start getting in our own yeah. way again. Um, and I think that's where, you know, the mindset and it was something that was shared with me before my coach was, you know, everyone always wants to do more and have more and then be but you know coming out of the other perspective of like who do i need to become first so be then do then have right so right, becoming right, right. the person like that it. can maintain that lifestyle or you know is able to go from 220 pounds to 180 pounds like be that person right and and start to adopt their uh, identity and values and stuff and how they would operate yeah. and behave on a daily basis like, so, so and like, the results what, will fall into place yeah what kind of advice you, you can give when it comes to you know, keeping like almost like making because it's small decision. I think mm-hmm. every day, yeah, you have to make the choice. Keep going. Right? For what is a choice? Um, what is it for you? What is your trigger? Let's say because I think mm, I think that's a, a great one. I think because everyone has got different triggers and I think ways that we self soothe. Right? right. So for a lot of people, it's comfort food uh, mm-hmm. or Netflix or social media. Right. So <laughs> when things are not going well, you've got a bad day at work. Yeah. The anxiety is high. They can't deal with the overwhelm. We look for something to soothe us. And for a lot of people, it would be food, right? And uh, in that moment, they think it's a form of self-care, but it's the opposite, right? Because it's having a negative effect and it sets them back more and then just reinforces the story even more that they're not going to be successful or they can't lose weight or no matter what I try, I just can't lose weight, right? And we, we build that identity for ourselves, start to label ourselves as that. And it almost becomes an expectation then you know, in the future, every time they go on a diet or a new trainer, for example, right. they have the expectation going in that, oh, but every time after three months, I fall back to the same pattern. And it's almost given themselves a, a way out because yeah. when the opportunity comes where they, you know, have that choice again, where they can make a better choice, they it's, it's almost like a way out. It's like an expectation that, oh, I always fail at this. So it's OK. Right. I fall back into my old. Right, right, right. I'm used to it. So, you know, really owning that choice. Um, you know, and owning that choice of, you know, we can break patterns and choose a different choice and learn how to deal with anxiety, stress, overwhelm and so on. 
-hmm. in a way that's, you know, for me, I said journaling, right? It'd be one way I use it. That's more obviously serving <laughs> than going to binging on Netflix or right, right, right. food or alcohol or whatever that is. So I think, you know, everyone's got these soothing things that we use to, to deal with challenges. And unfortunately for a lot of people, it is alcohol or um, for yeah. addictions or um, food, you know, is a big one, right? Food is, I've food been guilty I mean, of food, it. Food is, yeah, for sure. Like, you know, but I always say, I always say to, um, to my clients or people that I, I encounter right through the, through the days that you just apply, let's say you're on a weight loss journey because mm -hmm. food is like, I mean, we can resist food to be honest, right? Most of us, and especially here in a town like Hong Kong where everything is so flashy, mm. you turn every corner, there is a certain type of food. fast food, you know, mm. ready to be served for cheap. So mm -hmm. I was telling you, you need to apply the 80-20. Mm. So 80% like hard, 20%, mm -hmm. you know, like, yeah. You know, you can go. You have to have a cheat day. You have to have yeah. these moments. Like, you cannot just not not have those yeah. because you cannot go from a normal living to 100% hardcore, good quality food mm -hmm. and only vegetables and water. Yes. Like, you can't do that. I have myself, uh, and I'm very really extreme when it comes to sport. Also, I'm a cheat day. Like, I'm having pizzas and ice cream. I mean, I'm, I'm having it so much. Like, mm -hmm. you, need, you need to drag me out. Yeah. Like, I, mm -hmm. just let it go, man. I was like, yeah. nah, <laughs> I want some more. So, great I have those yeah. days. But when it's time to actually, you know, uh, get back to work or get back mm -hmm. to what I sign up for, I do it. And I find that people have, uh, you know, because I want to come back to what you say, like 92% uh, actually fall off after 21 days in January. So we can already tell that there's like a huge, you know, uh, problem when it comes to discipline, right? And so how, how, you, how, you, how you maintain that? Mm -hmm. Like, what is it? And usually I found that, and I would like to ask your own this, it usually comes to the lifestyle yes. that they're living, uh -huh. right? So uh -huh. I think that's why they're not, it, there's always a, the best excuse, oh, I don't have time, mm -hmm. or oh, I'm too busy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, so how, how do you deal I, with those people? I because, don't have time. I don't mm -hmm. have time. right. Thank you for sure, Walter, and thank you, John, mm -hmm. as well. I think it's very useful. I would say that uh, one of the main thing I wanted to talk about, it's all about, okay, your vision. Okay, talking about your weight loss. Right. Okay. But what kind of emotion you it's you will get wh when you're gonna achieve your goals? Right. Right. Mm. How would you feel? Right. And that uh, as a, as a, as a performance coach, I'm I'm talking a lot about feelings because mm. I think feelings helped us uh, a lot to uh, to to uh, to um, have a concrete uh, thought about. Uh, what how it can be mm -hmm. right then it would be also about knowing ourselves what uh, so what do you need so basically do you are you more about a, a, lo a alone person and and that you're going to do your workout by yourself and that it right 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 it's going to be done and you be, will you be you will be happy or you are more influential person a social person you need to hire somebody you yeah if you hire somebody or have a running body or have a, have a gym body or whatever mm -hmm. right 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 what what kind of environment around mm -hmm. you you based on your need you will create and that's something that's for me it's super important uh -huh. right and i'm sharing about i mean guys like i'm so happy to be with you today and sharing about right 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 which it means a lot because me i need that i need interaction with people i want that we share together. Mm -hmm. this is, this, if I don't see uh, one or two person every day, this is so hard for me. Uh, <laughs> I go crazy. Honestly, yeah. yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm very gonna social. Cry. So, to you, so I can understand you. Yeah. That's right. So my 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 needs, like uh, our needs, I think it's it's, it's based on uh, uh, our our knowledge about ourselves. Mm. Right. It's super important. Yes. Right. I agree. And um, I would say yeah. So then uh, the vision. Um, what I know, I think it's one of the one of the main things. Knowing ourselves is, a, is mm. the key to achieve. Yes. We're talking about uh, uh, weight loss. Uh, knowing ourselves is one of the the key, right? Uh -huh. And of course, when, when you were talking about the mindset and challenges uh -huh. and 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 uh, other things that could uh, mm -hmm. drag you mm -hmm. down uh, and stay in your comfort zone. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so uh, so yeah, that's that's what 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 I would like to what. It's very, very important mm. for, me to, for me to share with you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel that we, we, oh, like, yeah. yes, there is something we have to do together. No, we, need, <laughs> I don't know. we needed to do this because but, this yeah. is why I was, because we do like operate in different niche, yeah. but the goal is basically the same. It's all I the think, same. Yeah. Always is, right? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, take, it takes like all of us to get to somebody. Mm -hmm. I mean, 
to their goal, right? So it will take definitely physical, you know, uh, mm -hmm. a, a certain type of physical activities, right? Yeah a mind, a strong mindset, you know, and obviously uh, mm -hmm. a very good, you know, understanding of who we are and both mm -hmm. like connect with your own. Like, yeah. and I think um, people f like fail to, to, you know, to prioritize mm -hmm. that, I think, because I, I believe that when it comes to exercise, I'm just the last piece of the puzzle. Yes, yeah, right. You know what I mean? 100%. And when I do my free trial, when it comes to my, because I always offer a free trial and they always think that it's because I want them to see how I work, but the truth is, I want me personally. I want to see where where they are mentally, mm -hmm. because we cannot start if they're telling me like I'm just trying to lose weight so I can be ready for for bikini season coming in in, in August, right, guys? The why is not strong enough. Mm. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like that that's not strong enough mm -hmm. for me. You will drop out at the first challenge. You will say no. You know what? At the end of the day, my body is not too bad. Uh, I've been living like this, it's okay, just one more summer like this, right? So you drop out, mm -hmm. right? Or you worry about the money you put in and stuff. But if I tell you, if you don't do this, you're going to die, then therefore fitness is not a punishment anymore. You don't, because most of people, we just suffer through the session mm -hmm. because the why is not strong enough. So you just suffer through the fitness thing, thinking fitness is going to fix everything because your why is not strong enough. But if I'm telling you, you're going to die if you don't, in three months, if you don't work out, then it won't be a punishment anymore. You won't suffer through the session. I need it. This is why I'm working out. Because if I don't do it, I mean, I know dying is a bit extreme, yeah. but you know, if I don't do this, you know, mm -hmm. there's no choice. I need to do this. So therefore, mm -hmm. that wakes you up in the morning. You don't need to, to suffer through the session, right? And I have a big problem with that with a couple of clients that I have, where they just, they just, they just suffer through the session. You understand? They, they're here, but they're not here, really. Mm -hmm. They do it just to check the box. And I have other clients who are just doing it because it needs to be done. It's not a question about whether I like it or not. Mm -hmm. It yeah. needs to be done. Yeah, super interesting. I, right? I would say like next time when you have a client like that, mm -hmm. ask them how would they feel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. It could be amazing. It could be amazing to ask them. They'd be scared, but... <laughs> yeah. But, uh... Uh, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, it's super, it's super right? interesting. So, yeah. But yeah, but to come back to what you were saying, I think... Yeah the surrounding like where you put yourself mm -hmm. you know the environment is definitely 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 very yeah, important mm -hmm. and i think like i say i start with the decision and then you check you ask yourself do you, okay what do i need then to achieve this how do i feel yeah. where is my goal when do i stop is it a, a destination is it a journey stuff like this mm -hmm. when that comes together and then i'm the last call and say coach i'm ready i think i have all the tools i need I'm mentally, you know, ready to take on that mm -hmm. journey, not a destination, right? Because it just never stops. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah, I'm taking, a... I'm taking on this thing, and I need you to help me. And you know, whatever you yeah. think it's, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you think it's, it, I need to do, I will achieve it. Mm -hmm. I think it's very important. Yeah, sure. When you can you explain a bit more about uh, time when you when you were you were talking about time and and the, you have more tools about that. Time. Oh, time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I always feel, you know, standards and priorities, right, right. matter a lot. Like if, you know, if uh, being healthy is a high priority or standard for you, like you'll make time for it. We all have the same yeah. amount of time or your relationships, for example, you know, you really high value or standard for your marriage or your kids, like you'll make time for it. But yeah. mm -hmm. if your priority is only, you know, business and growing a business or hit it, achieving a goal, then you know, people will then say, oh, I don't have time to work out or I don't have time for my kids or family because I'm trying to grow a business. Right. But in reality, it's their standards. A lot of the time, you know, if they have that high standard, they'll they'll and expect that of themselves that, you know, they're willing to show up or make the time for it. You know, we all have the same amount of time, of course. So, you know, managing our time is always difficult. But I was thinking, you know, prioritizing is, is a big part. Uh, the self-awareness, like you said, you know, understanding more about yourself, your non-serving parts of you versus the parts that serve you. And, you know, when we make excuses and when we get in our own way and doing stuff, then, you know, we use the excuse of we don't have time or I can't do this because of this. Mm. Um, in reality, it's it, it's not the reason, right? It's just a superficial problem. You know, not having no, time yeah. is the superficial problem or I'm a procrastinator. It's like the superficial problem, The you know, yeah. when you can help yeah, yeah, get yeah, yeah, a bit yeah, deeper yeah, yeah. of... Like you said, the real why they need to change, um, that's 
going to be what's going to drive you know the, there's that idea of right the comfort or the pain of changing versus the pleasure of changing and if the pain of changing is more than what they seek for the pleasure of changing right. they won't change yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. To be too, <laughs> if they think <laughs> no no it's good, if good like it's, yeah if they yeah, think yeah, it's yeah. you know it's yeah. like there's that uh, the, the dog who sits on the nail right and he's like bark you know he yeah. lets a howl and uh some farmer comes to see or some guy from the, the town comes to see the farmer and they're having a conversation and he hears the dog howl and they're still having a conversation and the farmer's not paying any attention and the other guy's like wondering like why is the dog howling and eventually he keeps doing it and eventually the guy asks the, the farmer he's like oh why why is the dog howling and um he says oh he's sitting on a nail and he's like oh why doesn't he move and he goes oh because he's not uh he's not discomfortable yet right it's not yeah. painful enough okay. yet for him to move right, right, he likes right, that right. spot <laughs> So it's just a little dig, a little nail, it's right. like a, yeah, you can manage it. it, right? It's like he just howls every now and again. It's not painful enough that he wants to move yet. So, so the why is not... Yeah, the why is not sure. enough, right? It's, um, you know, the you said like the pain of, oh, oh, I might die if I don't change my diet. That's that's enough pain to want to change, right? It's like right. there's more pain stirred up there. If I stay this way, this will be the consequence, right? So you have to want to change, number no, one. No, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, there's a difference between wanting and the accountability to actually change because it, it, oh, takes, yeah. it takes it's you know it's, it's going to take changes to lifestyle to behaviors to the way you think the way you react and you need to want to be accountable for that right and no absolutely hey, hey, hey. I love oh, that. I have a question, can I ask yeah. a question? Hey, hey, hey. yeah then water and I'm going to ask you as well hmm. maybe I can ask myself too <laughs> <laughs> what is your why my why is so um, well I'm an ex-football player as you know so when I was growing up, to me, like I always looked at, you know, the large picture when it comes to me. My dream was always to play at the highest level, but most importantly, in, you know, to be very specific, I wanted to play in stadium and be on TV, right? I wanted to go home <laughs> and turn on the TV and boom, there I am, right? That's happened, right? And that was my why. It motivated me to a point where, you know, going every day to practice and stuff, it was, to me, it was, it was not painful at all. Because I needed to reach that level. Thankfully, I reached. I went to have a great career, you know, and everything. But when it comes to fitness, what motivates me is that when I started to learn about my body, I got very curious, you know, and I started to, to find an answer about how my body is going to look like in 20 years and 30 years from now. And to be honest, aging scares me, you know, and we're all going to age at some point. Right? We're all going to die. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if I do 120 burpees right now, I'm not going to make it to 150, right? So at the end of the day, I probably get, you know, the healthiest body will go to 90, 95 years old. And then it's time to go because the body just will give up yeah. at some point. Yeah. But what I can do is, is make my life easier by building muscles. And I want to keep, you know, my mobility and my you know, flexibility as long as possible, you know, to have a healthy lifestyle. And if it means that I need to do certain things today to make sure that at 60 years old, I'm not on, in a wheelchair, you know, so I'll do it. So that's my why. My why is it was always, you know, I got to the point where it's just bigger than just having a good body or mm -hmm. whatever that is. For me, it's really preparing myself to be able to, at 75 years old, take my car and drive around, go see my grandkids mm -hmm. and stuff like this, right? <laughs> through, through that, you know, obviously... I enjoy the journey. I enjoy the pain of fitness. I enjoy the benefit. I like having a fit, a body that responds to how I want mm -hmm. uh, to recover fast, to sleep better, to have a, you know, a lot of energy. I love that. But the satisfaction, the real satisfaction to me is knowing that what am I doing today is going to definitely benefit me 30 years from now. Right? You know, that's, that's, that's my why. And it's, it's also linked to the message that you are sharing with your clients as well. Exactly, exactly, exactly. I'm doing all of these things and I, I always make sure to, you know, through my exercise and through, you know, my, my, my words that yeah. this is why the result of today really, it doesn't, you know, I know it's important to them, but to me, I want them to look back, you know, in 20 years from now, they say, oh my God, 20 years ago, I have this coach. He used to make me do this. <laughs> you know, this nonsense reverse lunges, you know, and those single leg deadlifts. And, you know, he was talking to me about glutes and, you know, armstring activation. Yeah, yeah. I never knew why. But I want them to be like, you know, a 75 years old, be able to stand up, go to the kitchen and come back 
without running out of breath or, you know what I mean, or having stuff like this, right? Mm-hmm. So that's my main goal. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as for them, right, for me, my mission would be done. Mm-hmm. And I think that's my why and you know, all of this. So before we keep going, I need to give you this oh, uh, little oh. drinks. Thank you. So Iblis, I love this brand because everybody knows uh, about the big brands that we have already when it comes to recovery, recovery drink and stuff. But this is a company based in Hong Kong. And basically what they, they decided to do is to come up with a different drink. You know, uh, small cans, as you can see, yellowish, very attractive yeah. to the eye. Mm, very nice. And basically, it's it, it kind of like have all the things that you need in a recovery drink after mm. the workout and stuff mm. without the sugar, right? Yeah. No That's conservative, problem, right? like it's very natural. Mm. Uh, it, has a, it has a funny taste, right? It's a functional recovery soda. But please give, give it a try, give it yeah, a try. Of course. Uh, it has a funny taste, but once you get used to it, it's fantastic. To be honest, I'm, a, I'm addicted to this thing. You? Oh, man. I think my organs are yellow. And the, the juice is actually yellow. <laughs> I'm serious. I, like, I drink this at, really least, good. at least a can a day. It's, it's just, wow. You know? Yeah. And uh, because yeah. she actually entered my life when I decided, because last year, I decided to have a no sugar um, mm, diet yeah. like for three weeks. I, I nearly died. And I, I finally realized how much I was craving sugar, right? And then this drink mm-hmm. came along. So after my workout, I would be drinking this, and it's just it's fantastic. I mean, it would just completely cut this, you know, this this thirst of yeah, yeah. You know, sugar and stuff. So, yeah. so give it a try. It's it's uh, it's, it's, it's everywhere in Hong Kong. It's everywhere in Hong Kong. It's you know, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna see it pretty soon in Seven Eleven and the welcomes. Nice. But wow! So yeah, big thanks to to Amy Stain because she's the one who, and founder of this beautiful company uh, cool. that we have. Uh, but yeah, to keep going, what we were talking about. Uh, What's you you had a question. Why? What's my why? why? It's to one day be as cool as Walter. <laughs> 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 no, it's uh, for me, you know, in terms of my coaching, I always try to make it what I found for me is, you know, making it more than me, uh, you know, yeah. seeing it as I'm uh, it's my duty to serve. So mm-hmm. and I believe it's a, a part of my purpose and the vision that I have and, you know, that I'm just allowing it to flow through me. And, you know, it's what keeps me strong is always trying to put it on the impact of the people that I can impact. And you know, if I choose not to follow that path, then the people that wouldn't get that impact. So uh, for me, it's always been, you know, about the other people that right, right, right. inspired to help and, and, you know, learn how to deal with the mental, emotional and challenges of life. Because I mm. think, you know, we don't really get educated on it too much and um, brings a lot of resistance uh, some of the more natural or some of the, the current traditional methods, you know, bring a lot of resistance to people and, you know, they end up suffering and in ways that, you know, by having conversations and learning how to, to deal with it, that can provide a more sustainable path forward for them. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's a, it's a, it's a good reason to, to keep going, <laughs> I'd say. I like it. It is, it is, it is. Like what about, did you answer already? Yo, why? Um... You haven't, because you asked me the question, but you haven't really shared like, yeah, what. I don't have the answer for me. No, no. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think that um, that uh, I really want uh, to share that uh, things that are valuable to us to live in our life mm. are possible. Mm-hmm. Like you can develop ourselves. Uh, it's every, I would say, yeah, everything is possible, mm-hmm. right? I really want to to share that message. Uh, this is my why. I would say it's like if I feel like that, yeah. coming from uh, fa- friends, family, whatever. Like if I if I if I'm able to feel like that, everyone will be able to feel like that. Mm-hmm. I really want to. Right. right. Feel okay. 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 Yeah. That. Mm-hmm. Right? Like this, like a kind of happiness, like happy at work, finds a correct purpose in life, mm-hmm. finds a correct balance as well. I, I really I want to have a positive impact around me, right? right. Because mm-hmm. because because. Yeah, it's tough with the news, with the war, with the, uh, everything that's going through mm-hmm. the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even the daily life is hard. But I, I won't say that I'm going to change the world, but I'm saying that I'm mm-hmm. going to sh- have a positive impact in my community. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. right. And that, 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 that drives me every day. No, this is, this is, yeah. a, this is a definitely a good, um, a good like, motivational. Yeah. I think we have three different points, but, but what it comes to what you really want to do is to really like, 
have a good impact in people, right? Yeah, yeah. So and make it's people, always make people feel good, right? That's because we're in the business of you know of result. sharing yeah. knowledge. That's yeah. what we do basically. Mm -hmm. And we, I think I don't know for you guys, but me when I'm helping a, a coach, and he's happy, it's the best day of. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel it, so is true. It, true. it is true. It is true. It is true. It is true. Yeah, I've got some sometimes some coaches who are calling me Jerome. Oh, we talked about that like uh, ten minutes ago, but and I interacted with my colleague. Mm. My wife, oh, I know totally you know, right. It's nothing this better, right? I'm mm -hmm. so happy, and uh, yeah. I, I almost any. I end up, yeah, being like, yeah, f so happy for the rest of the week. Mm -hmm. You know, just because I've yeah, been able when to you receive a message or you know, because I work a lot of online clients, it could be a message that they receive yeah. and send you, and you're just like, wow, you know. You forget sometimes that you do have that impact and um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. I always like to say I'd you know never take the the responsibility not the responsibility but the credit for it because it's them that do the work and yeah, wage sure, right yeah. you know they but at the same time it's it's nice to feel like oh wow you know they remind yourself because right we, I did that we're yeah. not always good at that either right we forget like we we, we play down or when we right, do right, 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 good yeah, we focus true, on negative true, things true, more true, right yeah. so like when instead of being like wow I really have the person like you know like acknowledge it, it and is true, uh, it is you know true. we do we, we barely we yeah, barely yeah, accept we, compliments we were like no, around, yes, okay, that's my job natural but... tendency right it's like 80 percent of mo most people think is negative so it's like you know it's like four up to four yeah, yeah, yeah. a day is negative right out of sixty thousand. so it's like you have to train ourselves to find positives and be like wow i did this it, you know i made traction towards this because that's what everyone moves on to the next thing and the next thing right forget like where they've come from right like oh wow i met the last year or from like maybe client from day one to they forget how far they come and they just keep looking at how far the gap from where they really want to be in the future right and always operating from that space instead of yeah yeah, like, yeah, yeah. oh look at how far okay, i've come far in the last come. year yeah, it's important exactly. to do that yeah what, what for, for me um when someone starts with me i always say congratulations mm, yeah oh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's, it's not hard easy to to, uh, yeah. to to work on our body, uh, right? Body weight loss. Work on anything. Yeah, right? it's hard to work on our mentality and our. It's easy to stay vision. comfortable. I, I like yeah, that. Right? It, when then, sorry, when you think about it, is to give almost power to somebody else, mm. accepting that I won't be doing this alone. Like I can't do this alone. Yes, you know, I need somebody yeah, to have the I mean, to uh, to be humble enough to say I I need someone. I need someone, someone. and mm -hmm. which is which is I mean. This is great, you know. Yeah, it is true. It is true. Because I was when I started the, the the industry and as a, as a PT, I always said, "Who's gonna hire me?" Because I I could never see myself say, "I need somebody to you know mm -hmm. to get this done." Yeah. Because my ego won't let me. So how yeah. so how somebody who's just come and say, "Yeah, I need this guy to get me," you know? But there is people like mm -hmm. they are they are in a certain or family kind of stuck, you know? Yeah, because and they've been stuck for a while. So many people. And you get to the point you say. I'm not gonna make it alone. Like I need yeah. a certain type of somebody that just know more. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, and yeah. it's hard. Some for some people, it's hard to accept. And yeah. What's fantastic is when you've got uh, the the right uh, alignment between uh, the the knowledge of your body and then your mindset, and uh, and you have the motivation. Then it's good for you. Oh, you're in sync completely. You feel you feel so good. Like it's it, the transition. Like the yeah, the transition. I would say the. The, the new new routine can go so fast, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, because you're in tune with who you are and what you do, how you feel. I mean, it's it's a this is great. It's a, like I say, it's a, it's a whole thing. I mean, you yeah, know, that's what it takes. I think mm -hmm. the real. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, to come back to what you said about like uh, people who are saying thank you and stuff, I'm just saying like I'm just a tool. Mm. Like, I thank you for. You, yeah. <laughs> Thanks to you for mm -hmm. what you do, uh, and what you are working on. It through. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I'm happy that I helped you. But mm. good. Congrat congratulations to you, because right, you, you, you done the thing. Great for you. Uh huh. Nice, no, fantastic. Mm. And yeah. it brings me to how do we? Uh, because everybody want to change, right? We all want to change. We all want a better us. Right, I think that's. I think it's it's a daily thing. I right? you wake up today, you think like you're telling yourself it's gonna be better than than yesterday. Mm -hmm. Right, that's what you say yourself. So you have all these yeah. dreams and pictures about how, you know, how you are and how you're gonna be in the uh -huh. day. But it brings me to like, how do we deal with people when it comes to managing expectation? Mm. Because that is a is a big one in my field. Uh, is usually coach. I want to lose twenty pounds. I know twenty kilos and. Two weeks, like for example, right? you know. So how do we like tell him off without send him off, mm. right? Like how do we we keep him by telling him the truth, but not 
we have to kind of like twist the truth and a little bit of okay. white lie to keep it right. It's just, you know, we have this fine line of, you know, because I know in our business, they will say, oh, I just need a package of 10 sessions and that's it. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm going to be fine. Mm -hmm. I just need a coach for three months and that's it. Yeah. I'm going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that there is a serious work on yourself you need to do. Mm -hmm. And the time it's going to take, it's not even up to you. Mm -hmm. It's up to how long it's going to take you to understand who you are. And that could be a lifetime process. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. and when it comes to that, I think you guys are the, the mastermind when it comes, because me, it's just purely physical. So the change will happen. They could see the change. But mm. with you guys, it's different because you need to feel it. Yeah. But not only feel it, but understand it. Yeah. Understand and the change, right? Understand so, the, the change and then understand the process. Mm. Right. I think process you want, focused, yeah. You want to talk about smart goals? Uh, yeah, like, you know, smart goals, I think, are always uh, helpful. Like, I think any in terms of where you want to set a goal, right? It's yeah. whether the grow model is also quite useful in the coaching industry. Obviously, you know, your goal, reality, obstacle, and then, you know, your why, uh, why it's important or, or what next. But, you know, I think no matter what you use, really, it's it's, it's just the plan of it, I think, is what's most important. Like, you right. know, building out a plan for whatever, 12 months, and yeah. trying to break it down then into, you know, 30, 90 days, whatever. But I really like the, the process approach to things because, you know, like you said, the outcome is not always in our control. So yeah, 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 yeah. too much focus on an attachment to the outcome rather than, you know, measuring. Um, there's a great book called The Gap in the Gain. And they, they talk yeah, about yeah, that yeah. mindset of, uh, you know, what's in your control, essentially, like, you know, when you, rather than seeing the scales as, oh, maybe I'm up a pound uh, and being beating yourself up thinking, oh, I didn't have a successful week. But, you know, if you look back at what was in your control, like, oh, I did my four workouts, I, you know, I ate healthy, I you know, the things that are in my control and measure your right, success right, right. off of that. Because, uh, you know, same in the business sense, right? You know, you might, if you just look at your income, then, you know, maybe it, this month is just a lagging effect of six months ago. It mightn't have been what you did this month. Exactly. So, but if you look back and you're like, oh, I did this, 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 like I made a lot of forward traction, that just maybe doesn't show in the, in the outcome. Um, right, right, right. So it just, about, it your happening. mindset is more in the process of it, you know, and it keeps you there versus getting riding the highs and lows all the time on the emotional side, right? Right, right, that's right. right. People get stuck to when it's going well, they feel great, and then they maybe slack off on their weight loss or whatever it is, their goals and their business. Um, and then the same when it gets too low, they dip and they can't handle it, the emotional side of it, you know, versus trying to keep that neutrality of... Right, right. Um, so basically what you're saying, yeah, just expect... What's in my control? I'm, right, I'm, right, right, I'm yeah. doing what's in my control, you know, daily. I, I try to come up with three to five things, you know, that I need to do today and that's in my control. and. It doesn't necessarily depend on other people. And, you know, right. that's how I'm trying to measure my, my day then. It's like, yeah, it's been, I count my wins at the end of the day. Like it's been a good day because I've done my side of it. Right. I can't, uh, I can't guarantee that that other person, maybe I'm someone who wants to book in a call with me, like, and they don't show up. Like I can't, that's not in my control. Right. They right, don't right, show right. up, they don't show up, but I can do what's in my control and make sure that, you know, I do my part. And that's, you know, a big part of it. It's just, uh, trying not to give away the control. And yes. also, you know, as you said, sometimes we're, people are too outcome focused. They bring it back to the yep. process more yep. of yep. today. Yep. Yep. And what's, what we can do, what's in our control. You know, control. Like, uh, yeah, if the scales is up a pound, you know, the, as you said, there could be tons of factors involved, right? It could no, be yeah, the yeah. time they're weighing themselves or, you know, anything really. Um, like, so it's not getting deterred by that. And I'm sure you see, obviously, in, in, in the weight loss where a lot of people lose weight quickly and then they stop, right? They slow down because their body might right. start to get used yeah, to yeah, it yeah. a little bit. And that, the walking that we're doing or whatever, all of a sudden the body's adapted, right? It's like, uh, you know, I find that with my own lifting weights and stuff, like after a period of time, like even more maintaining than kind of building because maybe I didn't switch it up and, right. and stuff. So it's like, you know, but people lose that motivation then when they start to see the scales not moving anymore, right? They kind of start to get you know heartened by it yeah yeah instead yeah. of thinking no like it's part of the process you know uh we go through you know everything right. goes up and down right it's exactly natural. managing um, expectations yeah right? yeah just managing just expectation i think it's a uh, yeah. yeah not comparing to others managing expectation playing a long game you know if yeah. you're playing a long game of you know i want to do this to stay healthy for you know the next number of years or whatever yeah. not trying to do it all in the next 20 days because uh, and then go back to the same way again, you know, because it's that's what most people do, unfortunately. Unfortunately, so, you know, yes, just yes, make yes. changes over a period of time and and um, be it more sustainable. So, yeah, I think the expectations, like you said, it's everything, right? We we expect something, um, and 
said maybe yeah just look at our own self and what's in our control what's and try to different perception on it what's your takes on date uh yeah on, on date yeah pretty pretty you you've said pretty with everything actually i think uh, um yeah what's under control is super important what what would be the the uh, next uh, one person or two mm. person next step? Yes, that something is, is super is super important. Mm -hmm. I think celebrate, uh, recognize, and celebrate mm. victories, right? Because, right. Oh, putain, today I made. It. Uh, I did a 365 day challenge. I, w I want to to run or do a sports activity in 2023. Mm -hmm. What I found out is like the worst time to go out there. Um, uh, like you are tired, you work mm. is hard and stuff. That's the most beneficial time for your, mm -hmm. your confidence. Yeah, which is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. is crazy. Right? Mm -hmm. And then when you have done it one, two, and, and three times, boom. Now boom. That's it. It's, it's like crazy. It's in it. It's I, crazy. I keep saying that you cannot have energy when you have energy. Mm -hmm. I repeat this all the time. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I love and it. People say, well, what, what does it mean? I, I think exactly. It. I love it. You can only create energy when you don't have it. Right, so if you wait to have energy to do stuff, you'll never do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? These are the days like you don't have energy and then you find out what you're really made of. Like, mm. can I just get up today and almost out of nothing create energy? Once you start doing that little by little, you find yourself seven days out of seven having energy. Mm -hmm. And energy is like the more you spend, the more you get. Yeah, exactly. Right? It's yeah, like sharing. The more you give, the more you receive. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I yeah. heard like this in my, in my thing. Why don't you just, oh, I'm just too tired. Why don't you just start a fitness journey? Oh, I'm just too tired. But the more you sleep, the more you sleep. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Getting out of bed is a decision. If, yeah. you, keep, if yeah. you keep telling, I'm tired, you keep saying, I'm tired, I'm tired, then you are tired. The more you sleep, the more you sleep. The more you move, the more you move. It's just yeah. it's simple like yeah. that. So yeah, people always ask me to, within the world, like, how you, how do you do that? Like, how, how come you get so much energy? Because a long time ago, I created that energy, right? It didn't fall off the sky or, you know, because yeah, I'm eating, you know, special food. It's just that yeah. I told myself that if I want to increase my energy level, Ooh. I need to create more, yeah. right? So mm -hmm. if I'm stuck at level eight, I get to get to number level nine yeah. and 10. It's going gonna, it's gonna to take me, I'm going to have to climb to that level, you know? Absolutely. And then... Any, I mean, for me that I, I want to, to, to share about, it's like, yeah. any challenges have opportunities. And this is when you are down, when it's tired and stuff. It's a challenge. Yeah, but then you go out there, there is opportunities. opportunities yeah, 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 yeah. Confident, opportunity to improve yourself, opportunity to everything. Yeah, I think if people open their mind. Uh, yeah, know, absolutely. More, absolutely. let's say, because it, it's, it's, it, it always takes more than you think, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's always... <laughs> It's like, it's, yeah, it's always, about entrepreneurship. Yeah. it's always, it's yeah. al especially entrepreneurs, right? <laughs> it's always something that you don't know, but somebody else have the answer. And that's to come back to what you were saying. It's like the environment you're in, right? And be able to say, okay, I don't know this, right? I might need somebody else to take me yeah, there, sure. right? Yeah, sure. And that somebody could be something so natural for him. He won't even feel like, He's doing something nice or you're using him for him. It's just a natural thing, right? Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, simple example. Uh, I don't know. If I don't know how to bake a croissant, for example, if I ask a baker to do it for him, it's just, it's what he does every day, right? For him, it's like, yeah, okay. That's a good example. Like you know, I let me bake you something in 15 minutes. For him, he just bake one, but he does a million a day. So it doesn't cost him anything. But for you, it's like, this, this is the piece I needed. Like, you know. Like I have everything, but this is the thing I didn't know how to do. Somebody else came in and did it because I was able to open my mind to say, I might need somebody else, you know, in the picture mm -hmm. to comes in, to come in and, and, and do that for me. And that's take me back to what we say. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who are ready to, to take on uh, a fitness journey, right? And fi when I say fitness, a wellness journey, it means like it could be, you know, to think better, to be more efficient, you know, to speak better, to feel better, you know or to, to perform better when it comes to the physical activities, right? But some of them haven't realized that they only know what they know and they will need, you know, something else, somebody else yeah. to get there. Yeah. And I think there's a lot of people there that just won't admit that, you know, they're not mm -hmm. who they yeah. want to be. It's like, if you have any challenges, work 
on them. Yeah, Word I think it's... Uh, so much I'm looking even at the camera. Right? <laughs> oh but, Netflix, but, you got that but, part, right? But, yeah, yeah. Work, work on your challenges. Work on yeah, your yeah, challenges. Yeah, mm -hmm. challenges. yeah. it's, it's the, the book called Obstacle is the Way, right? It's like uh, oh, yeah. the idea of like, you know, that's where the far side of the discomfort is where you're, you know, what you want is, right? We Absolutely. are what the thing we're avoiding or, you know, we love, we love comfort. Um, no, 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 it's... it's uh, uh, yeah. And I think it's, it's, it's the challenges that you know we need to 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 lean into, and because that's where all the growth is, right? That's yeah. where we learn, and no, oh, that's where it is. Yeah, that's where it is. Yeah, that's where it is. Sense, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm, of to me, I'm completely convinced. It's easy all the time. Then you know we never grow, right? We never grow. The easiest yeah. way it's is back. never. You need to find the efficient way in. Yeah, yes, that fits to you. That mm -hmm. you need to put right, 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 to get through to go to reach your goals. I mean, even anything, I mean, even the weight loss you were talking about, it's just about finding the right food that fits you, yeah, not exactly. what is in a, in a book and telling you you need to cut down to 110. Maybe you just need 106 mm. and 600 and you'll be fine. Yeah. yeah. Right? And it's funny because it could be for weight loss, but it could be for anything in life. Yeah, for anything. Yeah. Right? Right. The process is more or less the same. Mm. Right? It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. But anyway, all right, before <laughs> we keep going, <laughs> this time is for real. We have... Uh, H. Bill Tong, as you're looking at down here, uh, love the guys. So what they do, basically, they produce meat. Mm, I've had a piece right. of very good. So beautiful meat. I mean, I'm also a huge fan of these guys. Like my freezer is full of meat right now. Like, as we speak, because I'm ordering like 20 kilos at a time. It's insane. So, and thank God they, you know, they support me a lot in, in my business and, and the PT nice. stuff. And they came up with this beef jerky full of protein. And to be honest, for me, it's the best. I'm gonna let you guys try all of these Absolutely. beautiful. Uh, I'm hungry now too. Please, oh yeah, man, I'm starving. To be honest, because we've been <laughs> at it for three hours, you know. <laughs> what I like about this um, this beef jerky is that finally we have something that's actually, you know, full of protein, mm. zero sugar, mm. right? No conservative, and they like this all like natural ingredient. You know, mm. I mean, it it it's very good. It actually. It actually helped me through the day instead of snacking, you know, oh, yeah. nonsense while well, I do this, you know. And it's been effective because I'm actually on a on a on a gain weight journey, if you if you might if I might mm -hmm. say. And I've been, you know, eating this thing and uh they've been fantastic. So cool. Just make sure to check out the website. Mm -hmm. uh, Very good. At H dot yes. com. And uh they're selling all these things, uh the beef jerky, the meat, the patties, uh the ribs, I mean anything meat related. And you get the five percent off if you use my code. So isn't that beautiful? Wonderful. Exactly. Thank you so much. Thank you. The code is PTHK. Pretty simple. So PTHK, PTHK. and then you get uh, the little five percent off on the meat and stuff. It's fantastic. I love it. I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm so, loving it. Is love it. <laughs> John is loving this. I'm not going to eat too much because I won't be able to talk. But I mean, I, I, seriously, I have this at home. It's like, they're like just all over the kitchen counter yeah. like to love them, love them, love them. so thank you so much for them a big thanks to Bessa which is co-founder of this and H is actually the name of her husband mm. and they you know they did this uh, fantastic company basically they're also a growing business in Hong Kong it, I mean wow 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 anyway to close this thing off one last question I think if any not even a question I think if there's any message you want to share when it comes to what you do and, and people need to, you know, people need to hear what, what can they take out of this podcast? Um, I think Jerome touched on it earlier on self-awareness. I think that's a, a big one. And most people don't know who they are. Yeah. You know, if you ask yourself that question, who are you? And behind the labels of I'm a dad, a business owner, a, a husband, a wife, you know, who are you? If they were all taken away and stripped away, like who would you be, right? when all the masks are removed and stuff like, yeah, you know, who are you at your core without all the biases and labels and the ego and all that stuff that we've created and influences and, you know, that we think we're this, these things, but it's just really how we conditioned ourselves. So where we grew up, people we around, the stories we heard, uh, the school yeah. we went to, you know, all that stuff creates certain expectations today and perceptions, but, you know, we can change that if we, dive a little bit deeper into who we are and and learn more about that non-serving and serving parts of us, right? That you, you, most of the time is holding us back instead of moving us forward. So 
you know, when we can start to get out of our own way, really. And, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Use the, all of these systems and strategies and experts that are out in the world, you know. Mm -hmm. You can actually, actually use yeah. them because we yeah, don't absolutely. get in our own way anymore. You know? Yeah, and there's yeah. so many information outside, too. I mean, absolutely. And th then coming back to what you said, that my conclusion would be, yeah, working on, on ourselves is one of the, the, the key of happiness, I would say, and which achieve what we really want to, uh, to achieve. And I would say, like, if you have any challenges, work on them. This is the one of the, the, the best things that happened to me in the last couple of years. Mm, right. Um, and, and, and if you have some ambition, ambition as well. Right. Work on your challenges mm -hmm. because your ambition can drive you like super high on, on and super. Yeah. 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 yeah I like that. Like that. I think you're very big on that when it comes to like mm. yeah, self awareness, yeah, like work on yourself kind of thing. Yourself, work on, I think you yeah. have to. Yeah. 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 I think so. Yeah. And, uh, and then, uh, yeah, coming back about um, the mindset, it would, it would be, it's all about goals, consistency and effort. Mm. And then make it happen and then uh, hire a right professional to help you to go through your to go through your thing. Yeah, I think uh, to me, uh, yeah. what I want people to take away is, um, you know, nothing's get done without uh, a decision, first of all, mm. and the discipline, I think, yeah. you know, those are two fantastic tools mm -hmm. that you can really apply on anything and everywhere. Mm -hmm. I think that it, it will get you somewhere. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. the how is going to happen, when it's going to happen is usually none of your business. If you're consistent enough to believe that what you're doing is the right path. And usually yes. when you're on the right path, you feel it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, it will be done. And when it comes to my industry, uh, it, it's decision, discipline. That's what, what, what will create a result. With my clients, mm -hmm. to be honest, I always tell them because we were, we were both athletes and you you play football so you probably know that us uh, at a professional level we never actually train every day at hundred percent. It's just not possible. How can you train every day at hundred percent? So I tell my client we're playing with the time here, right? The thing is to stay consistent. We're gonna do every time I see you seventy percent, seventy percent. It give you because if I go hundred percent, by the time I see you next, you won't be able to recover. Mm -hmm. You will still be tired. If I get you today 70%, you've been challenged enough to be tired, but not exhausted. Mm. You come back, you recover, uh -huh. and 70% again. And over time, it pays off, mm. right? Yeah, yeah. Now, the most of the people that hire me, they don't have the discipline to do so. It's okay. I am the discipline. But what I like is they took the decision. Mm -hmm. So they are the decision. I am yes. the discipline. And that's all we need. Yes. Yeah. Right? When we have both of these, you get results. So Yes. For those who really want, don't want to hire a professional, as you say, you know, want to take on that journey on their own, I want them to know that uh, it's decision and discipline. It's all, it always comes to that. I take the decision to get out of bed, yes. the discipline to show, off, to show up, and then action, yeah. and so on. Every day is the same, every day is the same, until you get results. Yeah, it's right. a choice, right? You mentioned like, yeah, yeah, no, a choice it's... to stay the same or a choice to change. Absolutely. To, you know, to get healthier or not. Like we're, cho we're actually choosing, it might be subconsciously, but choosing to stay the same way, right? It's yeah. um, like we're choosing that unhealthy food over the healthy food or, you know, choosing not to work out and prioritizing Netflix, Netflix or whatever. Netflix, 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 I, I'm I down know, for yeah. a series. If Netflix, you want to contact me, my email is. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 love this. I love Netflix, man. Not gonna lie. Even though I've, I've been watching a lot of Amazon Amazon Prime lately, so I, I don't know. Oh yeah, what just put it out there. We're also <laughs> open. Yeah, we're good. We're good anyway. HBO. Yeah, we're good. No HBO. I don't watch HBO anymore. <laughs> I don't know, but after I'll the game, I'll take it if we get a contract. After the game, I'll front to this guy. <laughs> well, guys, thank you so much for you so for coming much. and sharing so much. much. Uh, I don't even know what we share anymore. It's just so much <laughs> content. Yeah. But uh, but I loved it, man. Mm, I love. I good. think people need to hear this. Sure. I've learned a lot talking to you guys, and I really hope people at home or whoever's gonna watch this podcast uh, learn so much. Uh, so thank you, guys. Thank you so thank much you for so coming. Much. Thank and, you. Appreciate and I guess, uh, it. Lots of love. Yeah. And I guess you around. <laughs>